All right, Shalom, I'm giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom, and salute to the hopefully elect from the least to the greatest. All right. So this is just a quick video, ain't going to be long at all. Through the spirit, I just was thinking, I said, I'm going to do a quick video on this, through the, uh, fire it up. And I just want to make this quick point, right? So this is a uh, uh, Chiselin mm, Adonis channel. And I had got this uh, fight. It's these two uh, hood rats, uh, Natalie, Natalie Nunn and Tommy Lee. And if you ain't know about these two chicks, I think they they got their careers off of, um, what's that, Love and Hip Hop? They fighting and, and doing all this de degenerate uh, shit. But uh, that's how they got popular, all right? And I think both of them are based out of Atlanta or Miami or one of them. But, uh, yeah, they came up through the love and hip-hop, um, that uh, mess. But they had a fight. And what I wanted to say is when I play this, when I play this fight, you still got women thinking they equal to a man, right? Me and the elder, uh, Karatsaba, we was talking earlier today before camp. And we were saying, in this society, this society is so twisted, twisted, that uh, uh, a, one, a 150 or 100 pound woman would jump all up in the face of a 300 a 50 pound man, six foot, uh, six foot, seven foot, 300 plus pounds and get all up in his face. And, and you know why? Because the society protects that nonsense. But guess what? Soon that's going to go out the door. All right. Because we're coming up on, upon a time where as though the police ain't going to be around. You got all these illegal immigrants doing whatever the hell they want. And. Shit just going to go back to uh, how it was in the ancient world. Definitely before the Lord come back. Right? Because all that, all this uh, feminism crap is going to go out the door when anarchy hits. All right? So I'm going to play a little bit of this video to, see you, to show you how weak these females are. So imagine Floyd. Matter of fact, I, I, wouldn't even, I ain't even going to do that. Just imagine a regular, ordinary man, right, in his 20s or 30s going up against these two chicks. But these but these the same chicks that talk about equality and all that, right? So look how funny this is. And fair use to the, to the uh, this, this guy um, with this channel. I'm not making any monetary gain off of this. It's just for edification purposes. So um, I appreciate uh, the video. And I just need you, uh, you know, to play this part, um, you know, fair use to make my point. So let's go. Welcome back to hold. All right, let me show you. And this is his channel. I'm not. Let me open it up. Look how pathetic this fight is. My Nugget Studios once again for a battle between two unruly harlots. A battle between two females that you would not want your daughters to grow up and emulate. It's the Crimson Chin, Natalie Nunn, taking on the jail rat, Tommy Lee. Is this harlot drunk? The hell wrong with her? Stupid bitch. Round one, fight. <laughs> Madam BBL just took a right hand. For a lady who's been in and out of jail for 22 consecutive years, she surely cannot fight. What the hell the ref doing in there? This man talking to people sitting in the front row. Did he get this job through community service? <laughs> the jail rat clutched the crimson chin's head and I would even say I, I give I give a little bit more credit to the chick in the red, because at least she's throwing like she looked like she at least got a form. But if you compare even looking at women's basketball, they cry about how equality and all this crap but why ain't y'all playing on a men's basketball because y'all can't make it the heavenly father created oh i'm gonna get a scripture uh before I, 
close us out. But the Heavenly Father, he created women to be women and men to be men. He created a stronger vessel. Hence, the uh, fourth, the woman is the weaker vessel. What's wrong with being a woman? I'm talking to the women. What's wrong with being a woman, right? Why ain't you, you have the woman uh, working down at the port uh, in those heavy, heavy duty jobs? Because because you're not meant to do that. You know, y'all not meant to do that. Let's play a little bit. But it's swinging away. Ain't that a violation? It's still crazy to me that bad behavior gets clout and compensation in this society by way of reality television. Falcon punch! Yuck. Shit. Oh, I missed. I'm very confused because I was told there was bad blood coming into this fight and it appears that only one wants to do battle. Don't you dare touch me! Stand back! How dare you? Kill her. Do it again. This gotta be one of the worst fights I've ever seen. They in there looking like two uncooperative ants fighting over sugar. This harlot must have popped a perk or something. Cause you ha! So because you ha! Goodbye! Look at Crimson Chin. Rumor has it she can fold 76 fitted sheets in one movement. Round two, fight. I can't. I, I simply can't. What's going on? What the fuck? All right, but that's all. Uh, let's get the script uh, all right, this is the King James uh, Version of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7. It says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto them, honor unto the wife. Right, there's nothing wrong with giving honor to your wife. It's in the scriptures, it says, as unto the weaker vessel. You see? Can't get no plainer than that. Weaker vessel. Because, uh, to uh, 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 an ordinary man is stronger than a woman. The average man is stronger than a woman. So it says, as and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers uh, be not uh, hindered. So I got another one. I went to the blue letter. This is First Corinthians eleven. It says, "Be ye followers of me, even as I also." Um, Yahweh Shah am Yah of Yahweh Shah talking about uh, the one everybody ignorantly called Jesus Christ his name is Yahweh Shah it says now I praise you brethren that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinance or order as I deliver them to you but I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shah and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Yahweh Shah is the most high Yahweh all right so yeah there you go um that's not equal it's nothing equal about that but uh i hope this was edifying that fight right there <laughs> it just proves to you that uh men and women are not equal in in, in anything you know um now i could say this equal um you could be uh, certain things. You could be like you could partner up in certain things or tag team because the woman uh, was created to be a helper. Um, let's go down to uh, for uh, where is that for uh, verse eight? It says, "For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man." Right. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. See? So, there, there you have it. So, I hope this was edifying to the body. Till again, Shalom.